Hello guys and welcome to another installment of how do I and this time I'd like to cover the side menu functionality that's available as part of the, the new release that we're issuing. So the, the side menu is really something that's completely built into Codename 1 and to see this in action we'll need to start with some sort of form. And in order to work with that form, we can essentially add uh, uh, commands into that form to get a menu. And now the default behavior for commands in a form uh, depends on any sort of platform. So uh, uh, in the case of iPhone, when I add commands to this page, they'll start appearing first in the title and then in a, in a bar at the bottom of the screen. So maybe I should name this something else uh, like this and so forth. So I've got a few commands here already. And as you can see, the behavior is, in the case of the iPhone skin, is like this. So if I go over here and I look at this in say an Android look or an ICS look it will behave a bit differently obviously. So that's all good and well but what if I want uh, to have that sort of a slide menu uh, effect like Facebook applications can. So to do that I just need to define a different uh, type of command behavior and I can do this from code, but I can also do this visually. And these are the options that we have. And the new one is side. So I can just define side as a type of menu. And as you can see, all the commands sort of disappeared. You don't actually see this in the tool uh, until you reload. And once you reload, you can actually see all of the commands arranged here as you would expect them to be and the behavior works pretty much as you'd expect. Now if you'll add an icon you'll see it right here and better yet uh, the command has some additional abilities in it. So for instance if you want uh, the ability to uh, add a component into this menu you can use uh, the commands put client property capability and add the flag uh, side component and give it any arbitrary component that you want and it will appear right here. You can also style this as you want uh, pretty much by styling the commands as you'd expect or give it any sort of other arbitrary UI ID uh, uh, that you choose. And that's really powerful and you can pretty much customize this any way you like and it's seamless as you can see you don't really need to change anything just to get this sort of behavior so thanks for watching and i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and that you'll make use of this great tool that uh, came up for me